Hello, hello, God bless, giving honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day, wouldn't you agree? Because you know, without God, there could be no me, no you, no us. This is Miss Debs coming to you from Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen. I have something for you today and I hope it's edifying to you. I hope it has meaning to you. Thanking God relying on his protection. Father God, please keep me focused on you. I'm learning to not let the enemy get to my spirit, to not entertain the enemy's attack. Because just recently, my family and I, we have been through it. We were hit hard. The enemy came into the family, I guess because we left gates open and allowed it, but I'm not giving him any more credit. We have victory in the name of Jesus and should know and declare that we are winners. When we open up to the Lord, the word of God, when we open up to that, we are already in his presence. So he's going to protect us. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your grace and mercy. I thank you for how you look after and protect my family and I. Thank you for making me victorious in your name. This brings me to mind, Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord will cause my enemies, those who rise up against me, to be defeated before my face. They shall come against me one way and flee before me seven ways. Luke 10, 19. I have been given authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemies. And nothing will harm me in Jesus' name, I pray. I thank you, Lord. For the power that's in your name. I thank you for my family and friends and acquaintances and my neighbors, my life, my health, my strength. For giving me a place to lay my head at night. For giving me peace in my storm. Calmness where there was once anarchy. For giving me a source of contentment. Just thanking God for all that he allows me to go through and how he holds me in his loving, saving arms. I wouldn't turn my back on him for anything. I love how God will be my safety net when I fall. He is my salvation, my hope, my everything. He's my light when the world is chaotic and dark. God unwavering grip on us ensures us We don't get lost to our fears. Every tug of doubt, every gust of anxiety, he whispers, do not fear for I am with you. So I'm telling you folks, even though me and my family was attacked and this thing came into our lives, into our thoughts, into our hearts, because knowing the word of God, we were able to succumb it. We was, no, not succumb it. We were able to overcome it. If you believe in Christ and you ask him to fight your battles and you stay obedient to him, he will fight your battles. And he proved to us that he has our back. But you have to give something to God. You have to be obedient to him. You have to get in in, 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 in growth in his word. You have to know the word. You have to learn the word. Meditate on it day and night because the enemy will never stop. As long as you walk with God, he's going to come after you. But it's good to know that we have a father that will never leave us. He would never leave us and give us to the enemy. So I'm asking you to be encouraged and thankful. Be merciful and know That we have a loving God. That's all we have to do is serve him and be obedient to him. Be blessed. I love you.